Greetings, silver screen stoppers, clubbers. Uh, today I'm going to make a Clark Gable martini. So when I was researching what kind of drinks Clark Gable liked, I found on the internet um, that he made martinis by putting the vermouth around the rim of the glass. Now, there are a million different ways to make martinis and there are some other movie star recipes for martinis, including a Martin Landau martini, which Mr. Rathbone rechristened the Martini Landau, which I might make another time. But the Clark Gable martini is actually featured in the film Teacher's Pet. So I watched Teacher's Pet I found the clip with the martini making in it and it's rather strange because he makes the martini with sweet vermouth rather than dry vermouth, which is very unusual. But that might be because he's at Gig Young's house and Gig Young has a terrible hangover and they're basically just making a martini with whatever Gig Young's got in the house. So I've never done this before, so this is a first. We'll see how it goes. So Gig Young has got a terrific hangover, a humdinger of a hangover, and he's got one of these. You know, one of these that you put on your head when you've got a hangover. It's actually really hot in the Silver Screen Supper's kitchen today, so this is quite a nice thing to have around the place. So, this has got the ice in. So this is how Clark Gable's character does it in the film. He shakes the vermouth, to get a bit of vermouth on the cork. <laughs> Obviously not all bottles of vermouth have corks these days. A lot of bottles of vermouth have lids. So I don't know how you would do it if you had a bottle with a lid. And he went, goes round the rim of the mixing glass, not the actual glass you're going to drink the, the, the martini from, so it's all very weird because I can't imagine that's going to impart much of a myth flavour, but we will see. He gets the gin and he pours out quite a hefty amount of gin. It's our first drink of the day, it's a Sunday, so I'm not going to go too mad. So he pours out the gin in a large glass, mixing glass, and then Gig Young gives him his ice pack and he shakes it like that to see whether there's still enough ice in it to make a martini. You get, I got this on the internet, it was much smaller than I was expecting. Always the way when you buy things on the internet, they either arrive much smaller or much larger than you're expecting. Anyway, gets a handful of ice, pops that in his mixing glass, then he puts his hand over the top and he swirls it around like that, which to my mind you're already getting most of the vermouth on your hand. And then he uses his hand to stop the ice going into the glass, but he makes a bit of a mess of it in the film. So I'm just going to do it carefully. It's not going to work. Oh, oh, there's one. That's only got one piece of ice in it. They use very small glasses in the film and in the past, in general, they had small cocktails. They didn't have massive, great big glasses like we do we these days. I'll put it there so you can see that. So that is how he makes his martini in the film Teacher's Pet. I don't think you're gonna get much of a taste of the mousse after that, uh, you know, just off the rim of the glass, but that is how it's done. So if you wish to have a martini, Clark Gable style, from the film Teacher's Pet, there you have it. So in the film, uh, Clark Gable says to Gig Young, I can't even remember what he says. What does he say, Mr. Rathbone? Join me, join me. And Gig Young says, because he's got a terrible hangover. And Clark Gable says, uh, there's nothing in gin that will hurt you. It's good for the stomach, something like that. So Mr. Rathbone, do you want to join me? He's doing his Felicity hand from uh, the great video of Stanley Tucci making a Negroni for his wife. So there we have it, my chums, a Clark Gable martini.
Cheers. Mm. Cheers. It's just pure gin, basically, isn't it? But it's very nice. So I would say use the best quality gin you can afford. This is my current uh, favourite, Japanese Roku gin. Very nice. And that's it. And I happen to have a little card here featuring Clark Gable and an actress. And this is a hint to whose cocktail we're going to have next month. I'm sure many of you will recognise this classic star. So I hope you will make a Clark Gable martini or the Clark Gable triple decker sandwich or the Claudette Colbert scrambled eggs New York style and send me photos. So cheers my lovelies, enjoy your vittles, enjoy your beverages and enjoy It Happened One Night. Cheers.